super dangerous. Do you see that? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the new Rockcom vlog. Beautiful weather. Summer is here. Means, and the Corona is away again. And yeah, means we can ride the bikes. We can build bikes. We can do a lot of fun stuff. And today, as you can see, we have a lot of bikes. We will do again the RC390. The racing one. The race bike. And today we're gonna do on the RC390, I have a lot of packages. So let me show you what I have. Okay guys, before we go to the parts behind me, uh, just a small recap for those that are watching this uh, RC390 build series for the first time. Uh, until now we did already Dominic three build-offs, so I mean three tunings. First one was we took all the stuff down from stunt riding, right? So the bike was already a bit lighter then. Uh, the second thing was the suspension, front and rear, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was one of the biggest time improvements on the race track. The third upgrade was the race tires, the Avon 3D Ultra Extreme, which was again similar than the suspension, a huge improvement if you compare to a normal street uh, tire. Okay. But yeah, if somebody didn't see these vlogs, uh, ah, they can find the link in the description. Definitely you can take a lot of tips from those build-offs. So today, actually, we will improve uh, again the weight since we just took down the stunt parts in the first part, and now it's time to put a lot of race parts on the on the bike. And so, huge shout out to KTM. I really thank you guys for the support through the years and also that you send me so many cool stuff when I ask you if I need something. So let's say that a sponsor of this vlog is definitely KTM and KTM Power Parts. Before we go wrenching, time for some parts for. Those parts are sick, cannot wait to put them on. So let's reduce some weight. Which part should we start first? Let's go with the seat. With the seat, okay. Let's start with this. Wait, 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 wait. Put what? it back. But if you want to know the difference of the weight when we put all this oh, on, yeah. we have to weigh the bike. Definitely, of okay, course. let's go. Okay, let's see what is the weight of the current setup. 150.4 kilo. So let's see how much we can drop the weight. And now you can start. Finally, okay. Let's remove the seat. This one. And uh, this was a long time I removed that. Much, much, much later. Easy. That's done. Yeah, I lost the instructions for the rear uh, racing seat so as my feeling tells me I need to remove the plastic so to make the space and what I see maybe a problem will be that thing here that we welded years ago on that bike and we reinforced the rear part for the wheelie bar so maybe we will need to cut this also away so let's remove the plastics and then let's try it on let's see if it fits Down. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> I think it doesn't fit. Give me a second. It's time for the grinder. That feels like a, already like a half a kilo. <laughs> now it should fit, but First I need to make it nice and I'm gonna put some spray paint over it, otherwise it's gonna rust and it's not really cool. Okay, that's it, easy. Race seat is done. Let's continue to the, let's put the battery. Let's switch the battery. Oh my god, 
this is like a golden bar. So this is best price performance or how we say it. <laughs> uh, so I really recommend if you want to drop the weight of your bike. This is the cheapest way to do it, right? Exactly. So yeah, buy one of those ones, your bike gonna be much lighter and also the better will Let's see how much lighter, right? That's true. Okay, scale is on the zero. So let's start first with the OEM. 3.280 and this one 800 grams 0 0.8 kilo not even a kilo not even I, i'm not good in math how much is this a difference here that's the difference for 100, 400 euros that's a lot and just check also the size it's so tiny if you compare it to that one okay let's put it in the bike <laughs> Okay, battery is done. Oh, let me check if the bike works. Works. Thank you. Uh, why thank you guys? Thank you for the tip. I, if I remember there was somebody telling me I should try the lithium battery on my bikes. And thank you for the tip. I always love if, if you give me tips uh, and it helps me to improve my bikes, my riding. So. You're always welcome to, yeah, to advise me and give me some cool ideas how I can tune my bikes. I don't know everything and uh, I also learn uh, every day. Okay, next thing, front shield. Let's remove the, the stunt shield. Let's put the race one on. my favorite uh, upgrades on all my bikes I love to adjust my brakes and yeah so quick fix just one bolt what I love on the RC is like uh, it's a bike for for amateur riders like me if you want to be a racer and then KTM and a lot of other companies uh, aftermarket companies have a lot of cool parts that you can tune from the stock bike uh, and you can make a race bike for yourself to learn how to race and that's for me very I don't know like very fun thing to do like a hobby also it's not only because I don't know uh, we have a YouTube channel and we are doing it for that but it's also like my hobby you now I like to race and learn about racing and yeah it's really cool now to feel the upgrades I'm also curious if this weight saving gonna improve the lap time, that's the plan. But if it's really a reality, it, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. <laughs> oh shit, that was super dangerous. Do you see that? Dominic, come here. So I don't know, but this rubber went through and all the oil went out so i don't know how my rear brake was working but it worked but it's a hole in my uh, brake line i had a lot of luck so servicing a bike as you can see guys you it can save your life Whew, that was close man my heart is racing right now is done let's move to the left side so this is an adjustable footrest right yeah uh, but wh why do you need to adjust this okay interesting question <laughs> this is as you can see it has many holes so you can adjust it you can move it to front to right so this is my heel here on the foot uh, each person it has a different height and longer legs or shorter so you, that's why you need to adjust it which is logical but also why is this important so you have if you adjust it you have more aggressive body position more on the front uh, some people more like it more on the back and so on so that's why it's really cool to have it adjustable which i learned now on the 890R uh, that they are more moved uh, up and more to the back so the whole thing you're like uh, you're more what you could you do not straight but then you move like more on the front so it's really uh, better 
to have a better feel on the front uh, tire and front brake. That's why adjustable is way better than non-adjustable. So stock one is done. Oh, and Dominic, I'm gonna drop the side stand. So it's gonna be another massive weight saving. So I'm gonna say half a kilo, definitely. But actually you can put it on the, oh, yeah. this one, they right? They have, as I see here, a spacer. You add it here and you can mount the side stand also with those uh, race foot pads, foot pads, foot rests. And this wrenching is, it wasn't really a good idea to start uh, shooting from the morning till the night, right? Okay, let's finish this one off. I'm done. Yeah, that's a bit too much parts for one day. So we're gonna call it a day, right? For sure. I'm gonna clean my hands and we're gonna drink a beer. We're gonna sleep over because there is some parts still left. And yeah, that was definitely too much parts. But yeah, uh, what we have for now is the ray seat. Then we have the windshield. Then we have the adjustable footrests. And then that took us way more than we expected. Uh, but now they are mounted. And it's actually my fault. I didn't read the instructions. Next time I need to re read them. Follow always instructions if you want to be fast. So that's finished. So what we have left? Ah, protection parts. And then some other parts I don't want to tell you. So so let's go home, let's sleep over, see you in a few seconds. Four to six weeks later. What's up everybody, welcome to the new Rockon. Uh, yeah, we just sleep over, uh, actually it's a few weeks later. Now everything is ready, Dominic. Uh, yeah, today we're gonna start uh, to build, not the Super Duke. Actually, we need to continue to build the RC390. Now the next thing is, we need to remove the sub cage and replace it with the exhaust holder. Heavy Dominic. So that's definitely about three kilos less weight and we're gonna replace it with, with this holder. That's like 300 grams and that's three kilo. So that's a huge weight uh, saving, but that means we have zero protection on the bike. So after this, we're gonna protect the bike. Exhaust holder is on. Now we need to protect the RC. The adjustable sub cage, it's off the bike. Very strong, it can survive many crashes, but very heavy. KTM has a good solution if you race. They have the engine cover protector. It comes like that. Of course, two, three crashes, you need to replace it, but still it's way cheaper to replace the protector than the whole engine case. And then we need to protect the front forks and the rear swing arm. And we have the KTM power parts sliders. So let's protect the bike. tip uh, I was using those sliders many years ago and still I'm using it and when I forget to add a bit extra Loctite on the bolts that hold that orange slider I always lose them before you go to the racetrack or to the streets always add some extra Loctite to the small bolts and then you are safe Burnout art, it's time to give it away. Dominic, we need to do it, man. We got a lot of reposts of vlog and a lot of reposts on the Instagram stories. So thank you guys for showing big interest. So I feel more comfortable being an artist. So I think we should do it more. What do you say? It was fun. It was fun, definitely. So we're gonna show you later on who's the winner. We're gonna choose one of you guys. So all the KTM power parts are on the KTM RC390. It's lighter, I think we need to check it and it's definitely protected. But one thing is missing, the bike has the same style for many years. So it's about time that we change that. So are you ready? Let's do that. Three, two, one. Damn it, man. 
What do you say, Dominic? Looks awesome. Looks awesome? I agree, definitely. One more detail. Every real race bike needs a race number, so I'm gonna go for 174, which is 17 April, which is the birthday of Maribi. So let's put that on the bike. <laughs> Cute. Cute. We are done. Now let's go to the scale and then see how light this bike is. Okay, bike is on the scale on the bike stand. The bike stand has 4.4 kilo, we just measured before. So it's time to see how not heavy but how light this bike is. 146.6 minus 4.4 is 142.2, and before we start to build was 150 kilo, right? So we have 7.8 kilo difference. Man, that's a freaking huge improvement. And I already felt when I was pushing the bike here that it felt really, really light. Okay, the bike is finished. Time for some porn shots. And then it's time to beat our previous time. What do you think? I don't know man, you said like this, so I'm I have a new lap record. Yeah of course. How much man? <laughs> Look at 49.9. He's already one second all... 16 faster. Okay, I let's do it even faster, okay, man. Okay, so the weight saving does make a difference. Does make a difference. Come on, take up your gloves and helmet. <laughs> yeah now we go. Okay, let's do it. Let's do let's do round two. Let's do round two, let's go. Okay. Round two. Ready? Three, two, one. Sorry, but this one was not faster. really bad. Yeah, yeah, I did a mistake. I almost crashed on the brake heater. Braking too late is never good. And maybe you also blew it here with revving. The power went down. Yeah, I actually did a mistake on shifting. Yeah, so yeah. double mistake on that round. So give me one more chance to be faster. Okay, let's do it. Go. Okay, Ron. This is the last one. So show us what you got. Okay, let's break the new record. Okay, Rock. Three, two, one, go!
I'm not sure, but I think he... No, I'm sure. I'm fucking sure. He beat the time. Okay, let's surprise him here. Somebody is so excited that he's running over the track. What the heck is going on? I want to race also. <laughs> okay, the new time. 49.33. It's also Damn. still better. So More two... than a half a second. Man. Yes. Boom. Two records it. in one day. Woof, woof. Nice boom. one. Boom, boom, okay. boom, boom, boom. Damn, that was epic, huh? Really good race. So now we have the proof. We got the proof, man. Lighter is faster, definitely. So we wrench it in the summer, but we continue to shoot that vlog three months later. Between, I was racing with the 890 and now jumping back on the RC. It really feels amazing in terms of this bike is so light and so perfect for our Lindo ring here. The racetrack, it's now even lighter. You can really feel the difference. In the end of the day, we almost dropped eight kilos and that's a lot and you can definitely feel it. But what I would like to point out is the windscreen before we cut it away for the stunt use and all for the race use when I hide under it there is no wind and I can feel the aerodynamics in terms of it's not blowing in my face or, uh, or so on like before and the next thing I would like to point out are the adjustable foot packs the result is I can break later why because my body moves now more on the front because the packs are more on the back and I have more feeling on the front brake and front tire and this probably improves the lap time, I mean, we did a really a huge difference, right Dominic? For sure. I couldn't believe <laughs> when you were running over the racetrack, I, okay, then I thought, okay, something is going on, but that we improved so much uh, because when we drove here, I told you, uh, I don't have a feeling that I can break the time today, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we found another upgrade to make the bike faster, Dominic. Yeah. Um... Now what's the plan? We're gonna tune it still or it's gonna go into the winter sleep? Actually, I saw some spy shots of the new RC coming up uh, in 2021. Did you see the front brake? Looks weird. I never saw a brake disc like that. So this is interesting. We're gonna probably start with a brand new bike. What do you say guys about the new RC coming up? Drop some comments below. Let's talk about it. Before we finish up the vlog, we need to give away our drift burnout art and what makes me happy and Dominic probably you also when people tell us that they learn something from our vlogs or motivate them to ride more or buy a bike so it's really interesting to see how we influence people it was really hard to choose someone from all those comments and everybody was really psyched about our vlogs but we did it and here it is I'm gonna read it down so the winner is David Lohman. Congrats, man. And you said the best one is the Supermoto episode because I learned how to do a power slide from that video and really love how the power slide feels. And this is our most viral vlog, the Supermoto mode. And David, congrats. Send us a picture once the drift art is on the wall. We would like to see it. Dominic, we are on the end of the vlog. Man, that feels amazing when we beat the time, right? For sure. <laughs> Are you ready to shoot another vlog? Let's go. Guys, see you next time. Until then, rock on. <laughs> <laughs>